The Greater Southern Waterfront will be home to both private and public housing in the future, with about 9,000 homes to be built on the site of the present uh, Keppel Golf Club. Now, analysts tell CNA that public housing in such prime areas may be welcomed, but it should remain affordable and be protected from speculation. Brandon Tonotto tells us more. Ports in Pasir Panjang and the city will be moved to Tuas by 2027, freeing up prime land known as the Greater Southern Waterfront. It's a 2,000 hectare area stretching from Pasir Panjang to Gardens by the Bay East. It's six times the size of Marina Bay and makes up almost 3% of the country. Given that most buildings in the central business district are offices or private apartments, analysts say having public housing in the area would bring diversity to the skyline. There would also be a positive social impact as lower income families will be able to live in the city area and enjoy these waterfront views and amenities. I think that is a very good move. Um, when we look into the development of the area, um, one of the problems we see in certain parts of the world is they focus on only luxury housing or certain groups of housing and that causes first inequality. By having a combination or a mix of public and private housing uh, is actually a, a very good strategy to actually encourage more inclusive kind of uh, society and community rather than actually allocate the entire area for private residential. Then in terms of pricing and the policy, I think you have, yeah, I think need a careful evaluation to make sure that this public housing uh, still uh, affordable at the same time you also want to make sure that uh, this policy can uh, must be able to prevent some of this uh, speculative kind of flipping behavior in fact National Development Minister Lawrence Wong said in 2016 that one way to make it work is to have different requirements and lease periods for such flats while the government's plans to redevelop the Greater Southern Waterfront is expected to have an impact on the real estate market, analysts say it's unlikely that we'll see any significant effect over the short to medium term. This is not something that is immediate. This is something at least in a 10-year time frame. In terms of uh, marketing, everybody will be le le now leaning on towards the Great Southern Waterfront, around jumping on the bandwagon to basically promote their sales. Property prices, especially for new projects, definitely they will lean towards you know, the development of this area. Among the plans for the Greater Southern Waterfront are new attractions for Pulau Brani, which is currently a port terminal. The island will also house a new resort called Downtown South for National Trades Union Congress members.